What is up guys, it's Leviticus Dragon here. I'm playing a new game called Expeditions Conquistador. Um, this is a new game that kind of snuck up on me um, off of Steam. I think you can get it for $17.99. Um, but uh, I don't really know too much about this game. I know it's a turn-based strategy game. Um, and it's got some kind of adventurish um, options as well. Um, and there's a lot of uh, storylines involved where, uh, depending on your options, uh, kind of depends on, uh, what things happen. So your, the choices that you make in the game are really important. And I always like those kind of games, kind of like, uh, Baldur's Gate. Um, you know, depending on what choices you make, uh, depends on certain things. So, um, I'm gonna, we're gonna check out this game, see how it is. I'll probably do a spotlight on it just because it seems pretty interesting. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm just going to start a uh, new game here. Uh, let's see. We've got... It looks like there's two different campaigns as well. Um, if I remember correctly. I think it has about 25 hours of gameplay total. Um, but I'm not really sure on that. But we'll see. Um, so Hispaniola is the, uh, the first option here. Uh, settings. Can I change the difficulty? Oh, down here. Okay. Okay, so we've got different options. Um, let's see. Injury probabilities. Okay, so that's easy. Definitely don't want to... Oh, this is interesting. Uh... Cristoforo uh, Colombo was the Italian explorer to discover the Americas. Uh, if you pick this setting, you are most likely to be successful. Nah. Let's see. What's insane like? Uh, this guy rebelled against the Spanish crown and attempted to make himself Prince of Peru. <laughs> Eventually, he was captured and shot to death. If you select the setting, don't come cry, uh, don't come crying to, for, to us for help. Shit. All right, I'm gonna go with difficult, which is uh, Spanish conqueror exploited the aftermath. Blah 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 of the Incan Empire. He was then betrayed and killed by his own people. Oh wow. Okay. So we can change uh, different options here as well. Uh, enemy intelligence. What's sudden death? Oh, wow. When sudden death is enabled, your units may die outright if inca incapacitated for enough turns. Yikes. I'm not going to try that yet. Um, okay, so that sounds good. Video options are all on high. Sound is cut down. The sound was really loud, so I had to turn it down a little bit. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do the tutorial just because I have no idea what I'm doing. And... Uh, Yeah, I think the uh, controls are good. All right, new game, Hispaniola. I'm not going to do Iron Man. Okay, here we are. Here, uh, character creation. Uh, well, I'm going to be male, obviously. All right, what's this say here? Your choices, blah, 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 and inf... Uh, yeah, influence uh, your opportunities and challenges throughout the game. Okay. It is re recommended that you choose two or three skills to specialize in without lowering any of your skills completely. Um, hmm. Well, I'm going to say, let's see, leadership. Bolsters the starting morale of your people and raises their maximum morale, reducing the risk of mutiny. Oh, yeah, that's totally... I don't want to get shot by my own people. All right, scouting increases your daily movement and occasionally grants better information about battles. Hmm. Survival improves the results of hunting, reduces daily use of rations. Oh, wow, that's probably really good to have. I mean, we're on an expedition here. Uh, healing reduces the medicine cost of treating injured expedition members. Hmm. Might actually lower that one. 
Affects your chances of success in negotiation, uh, negotiations and cultural exchanges. Tactics used to intimidate enemies or change the starting situation in battle to your advantage. Oof. I do like the option of scouting a daily movement. But I think survival is going to be key. Um, I'm going to lower diplomacy. And uh, yeah, I'll increase my tactics as well. Alright, so I've got leadership at 9. I've got uh, survival at 8. Tactics at 8. And the rest I've lowered down 1 point. Alright, we'll, we'll go with that. Okay, so now I get to select my followers. Uh, okay, I can have, what, two, four, six, eight, ten followers. Okay. Alright, so I definitely need some doctors. This is awesome, look at this. The, each uh, character has different traits. This guy is aggressive, proud, adventurous. Aggressive may gain morale when you, you engage an enemy in combat, but may lose morale if you pass up an opportunity to fight. Proud gains morale every time you win a battle, but loses morale if you are defeated or fail to accomplish goals. Adventurous every time you make a uh, significant discovery. Okay, that's pretty good. Altruistic may gain morale if you give up your resources for a good cause. What? Uh. All right, this chick definitely not taking her. Racist. Wow, this chick is racist. Uh, yeah, I just I can't agree with that. Sorry. Peaceful. Fuck that, man. You guys are pussies. All right, I'm gonna take this guy. Uh, take this doctor, and I guess I'll just. I'll take this chick. I'll take two doctors. Alright, what do we got for hunters? Let's see, hunters. Okay, doctors are plus two to healing. Hunters, plus two to survival. Ac okay. Uh, this guy's racist. Ooh, narcissistic. Huh. Interesting. I didn't know you could promote units. I guess you can. Peaceful. Oh, I'm going to take her. Aggressive, open-minded, greedy. Yeah, I'm going to take her as well. Let's see, this guy. Cautious. Uh, hmm. Wow. Okay, so I, I got two of those. Uh, two hunters. Uh, let's see. Scholars. What do scholars do? Oh, plus, uh, plus two to diplomacy. Flexibility. I'm going to take people that are greedy because... Aggressive, greedy, cautious, racist, uh, peaceful, courageous, adventurous... Courageous. May gain, uh, gain morale if you stand your ground against a superior force. That guy's too... I don't know. I don't like his hat. I'm going to go with Julio or Julio. Take one scholar. Alright, I've got scouts. Uh... Hmm. All right, I'm going to take this chick. Aggressive and open-minded. What's that? Uh, may gain morale if you recruit, uh, recruit followers from another ethnicity. Uh, ethnicity. 
Anna Vidal. Aggressive, greedy, adventurous. Perfect. So I've got two scouts. Fast and lethal melee fighters. I like scouts. Peaceful, cautious, adventurous. That's so awesome. Every one of these characters has their own background, and oh, I love that shit. All right, so I should probably take... Um, I'll take another fight, uh, another scout, and then I'll take two fighters. All right, this uh, aggressive, courageous, pious. Oh wow! Each one of these have different weapons too. Peaceful, altruistic, proud. <laughs> Young Rosalia is the daughter of your father's most trusted sword arm. Huh. Uh. Gains morale every time you win a battle. That's good. I guess I'll take her. Bernardo Trevino. Open-minded, courageous. Peaceful, courageous. No. Aggressive, courageous. P pious. Hmm. I might take a Rita. That sounds like a good... Open-minded, greedy, cautious. Greedy. Yeah, I'll take uh, Sierra. And then I had... Wait, let's see. Either Padilla or Martinez. So she's peaceful, aggressive, courageous, pious... Aggressive, courageous, pious. Uh, proud. Gains morale every time you win a battle. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to take uh, Martinez. Okay, I think I got my, my 10. I got two doctors, two uh, hunters. Got one scholar, two, uh, three scouts, two fighters. All right, let's go with next. Okay, uh, this is reviewing my character here. Okay, so I got 12 tactics. Uh, okay, so it takes your, your starting uh, statistics and adds them with the troops that you've gained or added to your party. Fifteen eighteen, that year, the Maria Teresa left Spain and set sail for Santo Domingo. Each of us had our reasons for going, but on the sea, they did not matter. The fraternity was our family, and we followed our capitan. In the worst moments, we learned who we could trust with our lives. The travels only strengthened our resolve. When we finally glimpsed the shores of Hispaniola on the horizon, relief and excitement washed over us. Our hearts filled with the promise of adventure. Our welcome was far from warm, however. The Gobernador disbanded our group and striped our Capitan of Common. If we were to continue, the Capitan would need to win his favor. It was only the first of many challenges. The Capitan. I love that guy's accent. It's so awesome. <laughs> I love playing games for the first time. You have no idea what to expect on the beginning loading screen. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. What's going on here? 
Oh, all right. This is my guy. Uh, looks like that was my ship. I got some options up here. Okay. So this just tells me my stats. Okay, it looks like we have an inventory screen. We've got resources. Oh, okay, equipment uh, determines how well armed and armored your people are in combat. Craftable items, hmm. Building traps. Herbs, meat. Nice. Meat from hunting can be turned into rations by assigning your people to the preserve task. Any meat that isn't preserved as soon as you make camp will spoil. Oh, wow, so you have to make camp and everything. That's some cool shit right there. So I've got 100 days of rations. I've got 31 moves left. No days have passed. Okay, let's go with the tutorial. Welcome to Hispaniola, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what's this? In the top right corner, you can see the compass. Oh, okay. In the lower right corner, you can find the Make Camp button. Uh, you can't camp inside a city. Oh, well, that makes sense. Alright. Uh, let's see. So we need to go talk to this guy. Confiscation. Alright, so this guy wants to take all my cash. What the fuck? I am confiscating your vessel and your crew. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Um, you have no right to confiscate private property. Oh shit, the dude took all my shit. Take it up with the governor. Um, Huh, I'm going to station one of my people here to make sure nothing disappears. Uh, I could just see he's following orders, fine. My name is Juan. Uh, pleased to meet you, I'm a Viticus Dragon. Alright. Alright, so they took all my shit, fine. Guess I gotta go up here. Alright, so I enter this building. <laughs> uh, let's see. What is this all about? These are my people, they serve me. Alright, this guy wants me to do something, uh, find the quartermaster. Alright, so he wants me to... He wants to test me out, I guess, in battle or something. Finding the fortress is not difficult. Uh... This guy's Italian. Sweet. I've commanded soldiers before. Alright, so this guy wants to uh, fight me then with a mock battle. Okay. Let's rock and roll. Alright, I'm going to take... Uh... I'm going to take Sierra, I guess. And I'll take... Uh... Let's 
Let's see, a hunter, right? I'll take... I'll only take three. I'm not even going to take a medic, so I'm just going to take two hunters and a fighter. Oh, wait. Are these scouts? Where's my scouts? Oh, yeah, okay. I've got to take a scout. So I got to choose three uh, people to participate in this battle. That's interesting. Kind of curious to see if it's going to be the same uh, thing for every battle. Okay, we've triggered a battle. Enemies are red. I'm blue, obviously. Oh, wow, this chick has a bow. Nice. Got two scouts. Okay, and they've got... Uh, this guy's a soldier and a hunter. All right. Movement. Um, all right. If you stay inside the green, the light green, that means you can still attack that turn. Dark green is how far you can move. Uh, oh, you can switch between range and me uh, melee. Okay, so it looks like you have different skills here. Uh, ranged attacks. Gotta have line of sight. Some objects provide partial cover, reducing the chance to hit your target. Oh. Alright, let's shoot a bow. At this guy, 76%. That's a hunter. I'm gonna kill the doctor. Nice! 23 damage. And uh, I think I'll have him go back behind cover. Yeah. Alright, this soldier guy. I'm gonna have him sneak up. Sneak up over here. And I'll just end my turn. Damn, that, that guy got lucky. If you place two units directly on opposite sides, they get a flanking strike on the enemy. If you try to move past an enemy, enemy, they get a free attack on you. Oh, wow. So you have to use the tactical move skill to do th to get past them. Making a ranged attack at melee range will also provoke... Oh, okay, so you definitely don't want to do that. Moving out of melee range of an enemy also provokes an attack of opportunity. <laughs> That's awesome. This guy's going to die. Nicely done. 33 damage. Perfect. Alright. Going to... Uh, accuracy 0. Accuracy 78. I love that. Archers are awesome. I'm gonna fucking kill this guy. This doctor's going down. Oof. Alright, this guy needs some help. 
Okay, each of your characters has a set of abilities. Full turn, free action. Okay. If any of your people are injured, select your doctor and choose restore. Oh, that shit, I didn't bring a doctor. Alright, I gotta get my archer up here. Fucking, you had to miss, didn't you? Ye shit. Alright. Alright, their doctor is down. I'm gonna have this guy retreat. Oh, wow, blocked. Nice. Ooh. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna have this guy get behind the... some... See if I can get my archer up here to peg this guy in the back. Nice. Oh, they switched weapons. Son of a bitch. I totally didn't mean to do that. Alright, I'm gonna have to get this guy up here. Sierra. Nicely done. Okay. That was actually pretty fun, guys. I'm really liking this tactical strategy. Alright, well fought. You're quite the tactician, blah blah blah. Okay, so I get my uh, people back. Oh, I gained 75 experience. I wonder what that's for. Earn your command. Goal completed. Perfect. Alright, so now I gotta go back up here, I guess, to uh, this guy. Alright, so he's giving me back all of my shit. Oh, wait. Wait, wait a minute. I'm releasing the confiscated contents of your cargo hold to you, but your ship is still in my custody. Uh, okay, whatever. Alright, so we gotta secure some supply lines, apparently. Um, and they're threatened by slaves and rebels. I have no superstition misgivings. Where are the ruins? Yeah, don't tell me how to lead my men. I'll... See what I need to do when I get there. Huh. <laughs> Dude thought he could tell me what to do. Alright. Leave the palace. Uh, who is this? As you leave the governor's office, you are met by a young woman in uniform. Capitan Isabella de Urunes at your service. I'll take you to the docks and oversee the transfer of your cargo. Take her hand and kiss it. Uh... Hmm, okay. 
You lift her hand to your lips and kiss it gently. She blushes ferociously and conceals a smile behind her hand. Yeah, you're kind of cute. Alright. Oh, is that her? Concerned woman. Capitan, a uh, moment of your time. I would humbly ask that you keep your men away from our young girls. <laughs> the arrival of your contingency caused quite a stir here. I think I brought more women than men on this expedition. Um, okay. Let's go get my shit. Cargo. Actually, I better save the game here real quick. Isabella leads you back to the docks. Um, so we meet again. <laughs> Awesome, so I got all my loot back. Um, nice. Oh, some of my goods have been stolen. That's just crap. See, if I would have stationed somebody with the cargo... I bet you it wouldn't have been stolen. I love that shit. I had the option to send one of my companions to watch it. And I didn't. Wow. Alright, so I can take... Th uh... Hmm. So I have the option to take slaves. Hmm. This is interesting. Should I take paid servants or slaves? I'm going to take paid servants. Okay, so, uh, 200 reels, so that's 200 gold, I guess. Looks like I'm chatting up this, uh, <laughs> the guy's daughter. She wants to join my expedition. Do you have experience in battle? Don't think I'll go easy on you because you're a woman. Under my command, everybody pulls their own weight. Sweet. Awesome. So I recruited uh, recruited this chick. Uh, wow, there's so many things to do here. This is a, a lot of uh, chatting. A lot of things to, to do. 
But uh, I'll probably just, I'm going to have to end it here for uh, this play of the game. Uh, the, but the next episode, we'll get into more of this um, a lot faster. It took me a little while to get through the character creation, but it's always the same with uh, any new series that you do. Um, so far, I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of reading, um, but I like the, the conversations. It's, it's really intriguing. So I'm really excited to get further into this game. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about it. You know, if you've played it, uh, you know, post in the comments below how you're, you know, how you're doing in the game and uh, what difficulty you started at. And um, I guess uh, we'll go from there. Thanks, guys, for watching. Click the like button. Subscribe. See ya.